Get ready to match the stars. Bill Anderson, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Deborah Lee Scott, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Flagg as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now here's the star of Match Game 76. Hello there, Johnny Olsen. Are these people ready? And I see you're all ready. <laughs> Howdy! You Howdy. are. You Howdy. are. I'm sorry, I've got a, an announcement to make here, and I'm really sorry to have to say this. Brett and Charles have become so enchanted with Bill Anderson and the country music motif that they are leaving the show. Oh. Yeah. I sold my house and everything up in the Beverly Hills. You did? There. Well. Get him to put it in writing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll really be sorry to see you go. Aren't but... you even going to ask me what this is? What is that, Bill? That's an ovation guitar. Really? And with it standing on the table, that's a standing ovation. <laughs> That's just some of the comedy that you'll be hearing in our tour. Yeah, and you're going to start the tour after this show, right? Okay, now let's say hello to the current champ here, Tricia Wilcox. How do you feel? Good. Tricia's won a bundle of money. She's got $11,300. Now, you've had a chance to think about that yeah. and think what it can do. Now, you're going to finish paying off your car, right? Uh -huh. Well, you'll have some left over, unless you've got the most expensive <laughs> car in the world. Right. What are you going to do with the rest of it? Probably spend it about four times over. Spend it four times over? I've spent it about 80000 already. In your mind? <laughs> yeah. Yes. You're going to get it in circulation and help the economy of the nation? Good girl. We're going to start with the audience match, because as time expired last time, she won the game. And we'll see how much more money she'll win right after we see about this. Go. There she is standing on the adhesive tape, and we're all ready to start. Trisha, you ready? Yes. This is your third game you've won, you know. Here we go. We polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank. Plant. Now, the answer they gave most frequently, the most popular answer, is worth $500. But you got to match it. If you miss that one get the second one, you get $250. Then the third one is $100. And let's see what kind of assistance we'll get over here. Um. What's his name? <laughs> you remember him. What's his name? What's his name, Dawson? The uh, new album I have coming out, Transplant. Transplant. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look it. I mean, it's very natural looking. It's not where it is. It's not where it is. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. You're getting Spanish. warm. Who'd you call on? Fanny. You called on Fanny? Yes. Uh, I think everybody has a house plant. Right. House plant. Deborah Lee? Uh -huh. Oh, my good gosh. Uh, uh, Deborah Lee, now just think about it. Uh, An answer will come to you. To you something, it will come to you from oh. the skies. Wait. Oh, uh, God. Uh, I, yeah, eggplant. <laughs> eggplant. Where's <laughs> stuff? So you got eggplant, transplant, and houseplant. You want one of those? I didn't... Mm. Um, eggplant, transplant, sure. houseplant. Egg there may be another one. <laughs> what do you want to do? It's up to Came you. From Brett. Now you leave her alone. This is her money and her decision. Now, make up your mind. I thought of eggplant. Eggplant. <laughs> you had another idea kicking around in your head. What was that? Power plant. Power plant? Okay, they're not very enthusiastic about that. Yeah. She wants an eggplant. Let's find out if there's one up there, and if so, where. May we see the $100 number? They're not always low. That was it. Oh, my gosh. All right, now listen, yours may be up there a little bit higher. Right. Let's see if we got an egg under the $250 number. House. House plant. That was Fanny's. All right, here is the last chance for an eggplant. Hold the thought now as we reveal the $500 response. Oh! As 
very good. You thought Deborah Lee gave it to you? No, Deborah Lee gave you... No, Deborah Lee gave you eggplant. That's right, she did give you eggplant. Yes, with help from Okay. Above. Now listen, you've got $11,800. You're going to play for 10 times the 500 you just won, or $5,000. And we'll give you the money if you just match one celebrity, and you've got to choose one now. Richard. Okay, Richard. Direct Richard. from the transplant. Yes, sir. Right from the transplant. Here it is. Now, we appreciate your enthusiasm, but don't say an answer to her because your answer may be rotten. <laughs> so, here we go. Blank movie. M O V I E. Blank movie. <laughs> movie. All right, Trisha Wilcox. There it is. Give us an answer which you think will match his. If your ESP is going toward Richard Dawson, you will indeed match him. Blank movie. Home movie? Home movie. <laughs> I... They're vicious. They may be awing you for the same reason that I think. <laughs> we'll find out right now from Richard if he has home movie written on that card. What's the big smash movie that's out with Mel Brooks? Silent movie. Apparently the audience had the same thing in mind, too. Have you seen Silent Movie? Yeah, it was so funny. Wasn't it funny and you didn't say it? <laughs> well, laugh it up here. You just blew 5,000 bucks. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Mm, poor girl. Well, listen, she's not doing bad. She's got $11,800. She's going to play another game. Let's meet Sarah Weinstein. Stein. Hello there. Now, you can, as soon as the merry-go-round stops, you can climb aboard. You two ladies know each other. Yes. Are you Weinstein or Steen? Sarah Weinstein. Sarah Weinstein. Yes. All right, Sarah, let's find out where you're from. I'm from Studio City. I'm married for 26 years to a great guy, and I've just written a fantastic novel. No kidding. Yes. Well, good luck with the publication of that, and good luck here. We'll start in a moment or so after we do a little business with a man. Go. Are you ready? Yes. All right, I'll push this button, Sarah, and ask you whether you want A or B. I'll take A, please. A? Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Why? I haven't said anything yet. Why no, but laugh? country and western people just laugh because we're so happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> You really are going to go on this country and western tour and leave us after... Sure. Oh, yeah. I'm not the truck. singing. That's gratitude for you. <laughs> Here we go. Absent-minded Alice is so absent-minded... <laughs> not bad, Perfect. is it? Let me tell you, yesterday she forgot to take off her pantyhose when she blanked. <laughs> well... Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Only one thing comes to my mind. Uh, uh. Right, make it work. All right. Day 11's, may I have your autograph? Certainly, just a moment. Okay. All righty. Put it in a slot there and light your lights. <coughs> and we come over here to Sarah. Absent mind Dallas is so absent-minded, Sarah, that yesterday she forgot to take off her pantyhose when she blanked. When she tinkled? When she tinkled. <laughs> that would make her walk funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> what do you say? I've been told by all the gang down here at the OK Corral that all my answers have got to be in cowboy lingo. OK. Right, Han. So That's when she... Tinkle in the tumbleweed. <laughs> Tinkle in the tumbleweed. <laughs> well, what do you know about that? Ain't he cute? He sure is, man. I said when she went to the outhouse in the backfield. <laughs> well, whatever that means, that's another match. And you. That wasn't as Western as you could have made it. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's hear it. I said, here it is, a Western one. Went to the outhouse in the West. In the West. <laughs> okay. 
Great outhouse in the sky. Hello, Deborah Lee. Hi. Absent mind, Al, so absent minded. Yesterday, I forgot to take off her pantyhose when she blanked. Took a shower. Took a shower. Right? Yes, that's right. It's only her second time around on this yeah, show. And she's still, time. We're still breaking her Thank in. Thank you. Thank you, whoever said she still loves her. Thank you. Did you take a shower? Why? Is there one missing? Hello there, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you saved me. Well, not to mention the obvious. Yes. I told you not to mention. Don't no, mention. I said bathe. Bathe <laughs> oh, it. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Do I believe my ears? You're booing Dawson? You are booing the great Dawson, who now has his own show? Okay. Well, I hope you're satisfied. What do you say? <laughs> Miss Fanny Flagg? I just want to warn you that Charles Nelson's going to come out there with his whip and his six-gun if you boo me. David. So there it is. So we are in the middle of round one, three to nothing the score in favor of Sarah. <coughs> round two follows round one. The first is... Oh, here we go. Second half of round one. Trisha, this is your first uh, round question. Hey, did you hear that Superman gained 200 pounds? No. No. Well, let me tell you about this. <laughs> People look up in the sky now and they say, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No. It's super blank. <laughs> How was the acting, Charles? The acting was excellent, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> Keep in mind, we haven't seen a movie where we live in 82 years. <laughs> the last picture show. <laughs> All right. Lower tier is ready. And here we go with the upper tier and Trisha Wilcox. <laughs> Did you hear, uh, Trisha, that Superman gained 200 pounds and now people look up in the sky and they say, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's super... Blimp? Blimp. Blimp. Okay, not with a good answer there. What do you say down on the ranch? I just named my group. You remember the old group called the Riders of the Purple Sage? Oh, yes, indeed I do. This is the Riders of the El Segundo Bus. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> well, what do you say there? I, I said it's a bird, it's a plane, it's super fat. No, it's super fat. That's a terrible answer. Is that bad? That's bad. Honey, mine's Light better than that. It yeah. may not be perfect, it may not even be a match. Uh, it's a prairie blimp. <laughs> oh, that's a match. <laughs> okay, Charles? My answer, I have to explain my answer. It's a uh, blimp cactus. Now, blimp cactus. <laughs> Thank you. Blimp cactus is a disease that pigs get that cause itches and itching when you're in the corral. I see. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Whatever that means. Three to two is the score. Now we come to Deborah Lee. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's super blimp. Super blimp. Blimp. At a girl, Deborah Lee. <laughs> what do you say? It's super blob. <laughs> blob. <laughs> I got your names. Yes. <laughs> Dawson has been booed twice in one show? Oh. Well, sometimes you deserve it. What's happening here? Those uh, cowboys up there driving me crazy. <laughs> Fanny. That's all right, darling. We get on our Chinese togs tomorrow. Right. Blimp. Blimp is another man. Four to three to score. Now we go to round two. And... Uh, Whoops, uh, hold, hold, hold everything now. You may have, I know it, don't nobody move. Da -da 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 Look at that, he's da -da 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 a mechanic too. Okay, whoops, wrong one. You may have A or B, Sarah. What? A, please. A, all right. Thanksgiving. This mechanical age is wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Thanksgiving at the North Pole is a little bit different. Mm. They serve turkey, but instead of using regular stuffing, they stuff their bird with blank. What was that, hon? I was too busy tying my western scarf now that I'm going to be a western singer. 
You don't even play, so. Oh, the cooler. bodies of the El Segundo yeah. bucks don't play not. Well, where? the upper tier doesn't play at all. Where Just the lower tier. Well, goodness. Thanksgiving at the North Pole is a little bit different. They serve turkey, but instead of using regular stuffing, they stuff their bird with. You got it. Okay. Sarah, Thanksgiving at the North Pole is a little bit different. They serve turkey, but instead of using regular stuffing, they stuff their bird with... Ice. Ice. <laughs> Very interesting. She said ice. What do you say, Deborah Lee? I, I say elves. <laughs> elves. Are all uh, uh, <laughs> cast members I'm of from Mary Hartman. What do you Mary expect? Hartman, Mary Hartman are all Hartman, weirdos. We'd stuff it with elves on Hartman. Uh, yeah, I'm I see. sure. All right. What do you say to that? At the North Pole, instead of using regular stuffing, they stuff their bird with ice. Blubber. Blubber. Now, <laughs> yeah, you must match Fanny to achieve a tie and stay in the running. And for, I said blubber. Blubber is the answer, so that means Trisha wins another game. You feel really good. You feel All right. Let me just move that cable there for you a little bit. I'll say goodbye to Sarah. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you very Many much. Many gifts for Sarah. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for being with us here on Match Day Center. Goodbye. Thank you for that. And while we're spinning her off, we're going to spin these messages just for you. I tell you what, we can't let Brett and Charles leave us to go on this nationwide tour. We've got to have a little celebration of country and western music sometime <laughs> here on the mess. So why don't you just come down here? And uh, where do you, you want to sit right up there? Okay. I have to borrow your microphone because all our equipment's on the truck. Oh, what are they doing? You're really ready to go. Now, can we have a light change? Yeah. You told me to get in the middle. Yes. That's can what we, happened to Diana Ross. Can we do something with the lights? There should be a special mood lighting, because in Las Vegas they ruined our act with some bad lighting. Yes, okay. <laughs> you go, Make it dark. Give me the mic. See, well, the whole, my cigar. Because we have hand gestures without the whole. See, the whole thing Don't forget. behind... Don't forget that part. Gene, see, the whole thing behind country music is it's honest, it's real, and we write what we feel in the heart. I see. H-O-R-T, heart. Okay. And... I've been here on this show all week, and I've been looking at Deborah Lee sitting down here next to Richard Dawson, and I wrote what was in my heart. Go and my group is going to help me. <coughs> Unfortunately, I didn't tune my guitar. <laughs> Deborah Lee, oh Deborah Lee, Deborah Lee, oh Deborah Lee, you've got to choose. Between him and me, got to choose between me and me. My poor old heart ain't beat the same oh. since I met you here on Match Game. Now Richard Dawson would be quite a catch. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. But you and me is a super match. <laughs> me is a super match. <laughs> Goodbye, dear Deborah, forever. Oh, God! Oh, I've <laughs> seldom been so yeah. moved. Thank you, sir. You own a club. But I want you two to stay. I'll quit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dawson's walking out. Back. The Let's... record will be out with Merv Griffin on the 9th, <laughs> and we're going to be in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, the 5th, 7th, and 12th. <laughs> and the 15th. Oh, you're not going here. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been fighting. I threw it away. You <laughs> what? Well, I figured not.
Are you moved? Yes, that was the first song ever yeah. written for me. Terrific. I hope you record it. Next week, <laughs> yeah. when you return, these are the celebrities who will be on this very stage. Oh. Don Sutton, Brent Summers, Charles Nelson Raleigh, Mary Wicks, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Fly. See you over there. Join us next time for Next Game 76. Goodbye. The biggest event in blackjack is back. Jack. GSN presents the World Series of Blackjack, an all-new season. I'm so incredibly good at this game. There's a new dealer, a scene stealer, a fan fave, Hollywood Dave, a perfect 10, and a magic pen. Merlin makes a magic gesture. And because they're playing for a king's ransom, we're bringing back the Burger King Power Chip. The World Series of Blackjack, an all-new season, premieres Monday, 11 p.m., 10 Central, only on GSN. With 